J Dub out here with you, and uh, come through here, and you can see where we had some some little mink activity. And I don't know what it is. Something's up there walking around. Keep hearing it knocking leaves around, but anyway. See, we had some mink activity down through here. I found this nice little cubby hole back here. All I got right now is a Sleep Creek number two. I'm gonna bring in a, a single long spring tomorrow and replace it. I wired it off. It comes out here to this this tree, which is pretty sad if an otter or anything gets in it. But that's what we're trying to catch. But I saw that mink and figured I'd give him a shot. See what we can get out of it. Get in here and set some more otter sets up. We replaced that, that trap, moved that rock that was setting that one up. Water level dropped some last night. So we got that cubby in there. Put some of these little sticks up, hoping he'll come along this bank. Hoping he won't walk across that rock because it's pretty slick. Maybe he'll get in the water and go up there and check that cubby. But it could be wrong. Not much of a mink trapper. Just catch him by opportunity. But if you look down there, right on that rock. I got a Sleeper Creek Long Spring set there. So I'm going to try to catch a, these few otter that's still coming through here. I got one tag left for the year, but I forgot to show you all that and go on with the rest of my line. J Dub out here. I don't know if y'all can see this in the video, but we got a nice little ice storm coming through, checking out all these traps. Just making sure. This is the only problem I've run into with the salt. kind of dries out your, your bed around your, uh, your trap. After all the salt's done, we'll, uh, after all the snow and everything, I guess we'll see how that works. Got the old pool right here today. Oh, we'll go out here and we'll check some of these other traps out. If y'all can see that or not, all the ice bouncing off. But still got that one set. Had a, had something mess around with it again last night. I kind of blocked it in a little more. Hopefully we'll catch whatever it is. It's, second day it's still messed with me. I had a possum here the other night. I'm wondering if it ain't that possum again. If it is, then we'll dispatch him this time and we'll, uh, we'll scan him out. Or, I might take him just release him somewhere else. So, we'll see how it goes. Got another one of our sets. Uh, that's actually got a Bridger, or no, a Sleeping Creek number four in there, I believe. Trying to catch uh, some coyotes or some, coon or some uh, bobcat coming through, but had a fox that messed around with it yesterday. Nothing came through last night. See the ice starting to build up on all my sets, so hurry up and get out of here before it gets too slick that we can't get off this mountain. But right over there we got another cat set kind of blocked in. Hasn't anything messed with it, so we'll come through and check the rest of them. He's got the red, white, blue, blind high. Come.